Making big financial choices is often difficult. The stakes can be high, the options unclear, and the calculations sometimes complicated and unfamiliar. Sometimes financial choices are so stressful that we delay making them and we follow the easiest option, even if it's not obviously the best option. Financial choices are a big part of our life. When we make them well, we can do better in life. Together with Barbara Kiviet, who works with me at the Wagner Graduate School of Public Service at New York University, I've been taking stock of what we know about financial choices and financial literacy. We're seeing important new ways to think about financial literacy. We're also seeing that it's time for a frank assessment of progress so far. Not long ago, the Federal Reserve Board ran an evaluation of a two-day financial education course offered by the Army to soldiers stationed at Fort Bliss in El Paso, Texas. The researchers then compared the choices of soldiers who got the financial training to soldiers who didn't. It turned out that many of the soldiers were interested in buying cars. One year later, those who got the training had made good choices. When they financed their car purchases, they ended up with less debt. They had smaller loan amounts and had made higher down payments when compared to the control group. Financial education clearly mattered. And it helped that one of the topics was about something that the soldiers clearly had on their minds, buying a new car or truck. But the financial training covered more than car buying. It also covered issues like managing credit cards and checking accounts, saving for retirement, and buying insurance. And on those topics, one year later, the financial education had made little difference at all. Partly, the issue is that the soldiers were in the process of buying cars, so that part of the education was timely and relevant. But we've also learned that having the right financial education is only one ingredient in making better choices. Here are the five elements we see. First, norms and aspirations that make finance an important part of one's life. Second, relevant and timely information in which simple rules of thumb that stick may be more important than detailed knowledge that's soon forgotten. Third, access to financial products that are transparent, well-priced, and reliable. Fourth, self-knowledge to avoid unrealistic expectations which can lead to bad choices and financial headaches. And fifth, structures like automatic wage deposits into savings accounts that can help turn aspirations into actions. So we have five elements. We're still learning the best ways to turn financial education into financial knowledge. But perhaps the most important lesson is that knowledge is just a starting point. The next steps involve making sure that good ideas get turned into good outcomes. To learn more about the five elements and read our recent research, please visit the McGraw-Hill Research Foundation website and download our paper.